Hi Aquarius, it's Alulu and welcome to your indie read. Okay, the big girls is out, pop locking and what dropping. All right. Remember, these are energy oracle cards, so the energy is high, okay? And the thing about it is that um I haven't used them in quite some time and baby child, they have been talking. It's, and that's the other thing about these because it's hard to, because back in the day, we didn't have to time the reads. But with these in the space that we are in right now, it's important to time them. But these are the girls that used to go for hours on end, okay? Be like, okay, that's going to be all I can get out of this. Be done drain the weasel four to five minutes to an hour on a read, okay? Those were the good old days, but they have passed, y'all. Um, unfortunately. All right, so what do you have here for Aquarius? And they talking. Okay, something is meeting like this. So that gives me the um, high priestess uh, energy. It's meeting like this or it's meeting at the top, all right? So we'll see. It's meeting like this and it's meeting at the top. I thought I saw a light. All right, so let's see here. Storm warning, shit storm. All right, all right. Angel of love. So that is what I saw. Something with the high priest is in the lover's card. Rest and rejuvenation is important. What's under storm warning? A man holding a heart. What's under angel of love? Caring connections. What's under rest and rejuvenation? A woman holding a coin. What's under envy? I mean, what's under man holding a heart? Envy, which is crossing. Um, caring connections and rest and rejuvenation. Deceit is under caring connections. Healer of ages is under woman holding a cone. What's going on? That partnership may have something to do with some money. All right, so storm warning, which is a shit storm, is coming through at number one. So there may be some tumultuous events, scandalous shit going on. When it comes to partnerships, relationships, or whatever this is, child, just take some time out to really fall back in love with love and be still for a moment because whatever this is, I'm going to clarify it. It's the end to some type of situation. It may be a way of thinking, being spiritually, whatever it is, it came in to blow out the pipes, okay? It's like the towel, all right? Um, child, I hope this ain't no third-party situation. The way, look at this. I'm just going to start reading down. All right, so the man holding the heart, partnerships, and the woman holding the coin. All right, so maybe it may not be a third party situation. It could easily be that you have um, a love interest and a business uh, partnership because that's what that caring connections can be, right? Um, but let's look. So take a time out to really rest. Maybe you are um, needing to recover. Maybe you're in recovery from some type of surgery, some type of health issue, or just needing to be in a space where that was a lot that just went on with that storm warning. And it's time to really, you know, recenter, rebalance, and just heal on the spiritual level, which allows for you to rest. When we take time out to rest, we are allowed a certain benefit of um, more clarity. Um, you may even be going into a space where, you know, you detox, you uh, diet, it's something like that, but it's a healing, whatever it is. With this uh, man holding the heart, someone is going to help. Like I think they want to rescue you, but someone may be coming in to help. They have a burning desire here, but they may be very jealous, right? Or there are people that are jealous of your connection with certain folks, okay? Because envy is coming under this person. But let's start clarifying. Because like I said, these cards will have me talking all night long. All right. What is this storm warning for Aquarius, child? The Eight of Swords, you're not going to see it coming. So you might as well, if it hasn't already happened, go ahead and get into a space where you are. Um, it's like you put yourself in a space where this is the only thing that you want to see. Only, thing, only way that you wanted to converse about things. Maybe it's the only way that you wanted to write, whatever it is. The storm is coming in to take you out of the way that you view things, the way that you communicate, the way that you, um, whatever it is that you got comfortable with. This is making you uncomfortable so that you can go into this space, space and realize this has to do with self realization as well you go into this space where you realize what it is that you need to do because you were caught up in maybe you caught up in this situation for eight years eight months whatever this is and it's time for you to come out of it you really i think that this is something this may be self-imposed limitations 
But overall, it I think that, you know, maybe this is even some type of binding that was going on, too. Because look at this. Because I don't see her arms. Why well, I don't see her arms? Trying to figure it out. It's here. Caught up in the situation. No. All right. What is this uh, man holding a coin here? This may be someone that's very stable, but they have a change. Sometimes they have change of heart, a magician. Maybe they play games or maybe they're very charismatic. This person has something for everything, knows how to do a little bit of everything, which is always a benefit, right? Um, this may even be that, you know, this is someone who um, has a lot of love for you, compassion or what have you for whenever you come out of this um, space of This may be someone that tells you that I took this out for you. I did this for you. They, whoever it is, even though I do feel like they're emotionally mature, but they do have a thing about them, which we all have something about us. I think this person has a thing about them that they have to show you that I did this. I did that, right? Because sometimes you may not value what they did. Maybe that's how they view it. I really went out of my way to do this like that. What is this envy here coming in for Aquarius? The Nine of Cups. You flying high, which may cause envy. All right? You got it all together. You may even be, um, it may be word around town about what it is that you got going on. Maybe it's about your wish fulfillment, your faith, and how you carry yourself, what it is that you do. You know what I'm saying? What is this Nine of Cups and this Envy card, child? Because it's very ghetto, child. What thing is going on? Ten of Wands in the reverse, don't let it get to you, and you're not. I don't feel like you're letting this get to you. It's just that there's a lot of envy, um, you know, jealousy. The deceit is coming in the next card. It's envy and deceit. Like, that's a double women, because it's like, what the fuck are these people doing, y'all? Because I feel like it's outside of you. I hope it's outside of you. All right, so what is this angel of love for Aquarius? Temperance, finding love and balance and, and doing things in moderation for yourself. Finding out, you know, what makes you tick and what doesn't make you tick in this ass space that you are in now that you have clarity with this um, power that came in, this shit storm that came in, right? Really figuring out, you know, what it means now for you to have your cup filled. What does it mean now for you to have, a, a, be accompanied by people who um, you don't know if you can trust? Because why is this deceit card under this caring connection? But I'm clarifying going down like I did a minute ago. Let's see. Because y'all know if I start going all over the place, it's going to be a lot. What is this caring connection? The Ace of Wands. This is the Ace of Wands in the reverse. A misuse of energy, a misuse of sexual prowess, a misuse, mis misuse of creativity, a message gone wrong, communication gone wrong, right? Not meaning to hurt anybody, but coming from behind and you know, lightning strikes, lightning strikes the tree and the bitch burned, don't it? But let me see now, because this could be something coming out of nowhere. And the way that it's looking, look at this. You may have to go on a trip, a business trip with somebody. This how it's looking. Why does it look like, okay, so I was clarifying this card. I was clarifying th this card. This card is on the side. This comes out of nowhere. This message, this information comes out of nowhere. Damn. And causes, I can't, <laughs> it causes a fire towards the, the man holding the heart. Stop trying to show the cause because I'm fucking up. Because apparently the camera is, is turned around or whatever. Okay. So uh, communication comes out of nowhere. Maybe you find out about something out of nowhere. Something is revealed to you out of nowhere. And it may be about money, how somebody play their cards, how somebody, maybe they got a reading. And that, that's causing issues, deceit. All right. Let me see. Somebody is hiding something here. It's like a, some kind of reveal is going to happen about someone that's very much so closely connected to you. So 25. So a two means that they are close to you. A five means that things are about to change. All right. This is going to put the, put an, uh, really put an end to something. What is this deceit card? What is this deceit card, Cheryl? The sun card. Bad Bill can't um, outshine light now. I don't know why I tried. Like, light gonna be shed on this. The truth gonna be revealed. Six of Swords. 
now you can really move on and make things happen. And you may even be leaving without even showing or saying something or this person is going to leave. It's like once the truth is revealed, maybe it's going to be like on front street, like something is going to be put out where something is revealed. And, and instead of doing things in a way that, you know, being straight up with the, you know, OK, well, I'm going to move on. I'm going on now. I'm going to transition up out of this. I'm going to leave this alone. Somebody is doing it in a backpedaling way. The truth is being revealed with this deceit. All right. Somebody um, is all draped in their heart. They may be leaving because it's too painful for them to bear. Even uh, being in the forefront, having it in the forefront like that or something. What is this uh, rest and rejuvenation for Aquarius? As if we don't know. The hermit. Yeah. A lot of information is going to come to you. I do feel like there's going to be, you know, oftentimes on the spiritual realm, and I wish that we um, had certain people in certain places that could see things um, in this way, which they can, but they're far and few. I feel like you are being rewoven. I feel like you are being rewoven and um, cleared out, cleaned up. You got all types of, you know, um, things being... Um, changed up in your in your genetics right your dna it's like they are cleansing and clearing out your your uh, spinal cord is what i'm seeing um there's even clearing and purifying of the blood too all right yeah and it's because of this thorn what is this woman holding a, a coin here for aquarius the ten of wands so you, you got this risk because it was time for you to really pay attention to something here when it comes to your work or maybe this person is reaching out to you, right? I mean, maybe an earth sign, but whoever it is, they're well to do and they may be reaching out to you because it's become too much for them to, maybe you're going to help this person energetically, helping them clear something, clean something. Um, you could even be helping to lift a burden that they have going on, right? And it's going to be very beneficial for you. I feel like this person coming into your life is going to be really uh, sent from heaven. Okay? May wear their hair in a bun or back in a bun or something like that. It may be a teacher, a grade school teacher. People turn their back on them. Like whoever this is is coming towards you. People have turned their back on them. People have become solid as a rock when it comes to how they deal with this person so that's why they need you know they may offer you something and it may seem like it's too good to be true i don't think it is but i think it's right on the money what is this hero of ages maybe an ascended master that you were working with at the end of the day but let's see what is this killer of ages the knight of swords the knight of swords in the reverse okay so in this deck, the Knight of Swords in the reverse can easily be that this healer of ages is coming through to show you what needs to be done when it comes to your throat chakra, when it comes to um, who you communicate with and how you communicate with angelic beings or higher realms of beings. There's something here that you may be able to command on both sides. All right. But I also get here that, you know, this is going to bring balance into the way that you do things, the way that you handle Maybe you're a Reiki master, but this has something to do with air. This has something to do with opportunity, the opportunity of utilizing the air in order to bring light into dark situations or, you know, heal people. Maybe you are the person that can see the stuff that I was talking about. Heart of gold. All right. Allura. What is this knight of swords? This person or this ascended master is coming in. You may have turned your back on a gift that you have and it's time for you to reawaken it. And like I've said before, anytime you know, you can't stop knowing. You're not going to not know. You're not going to be able to be in a space where you, I'm not going to, I don't know what to tell you. It's the truth.com. It's the truth.org. It's the truth.edu. Okay. Try to figure it out. You know, sometimes people don't want to know what they know. No more. Well, you should never, don't walk into this realm of things and knowing that, you know, the outside world will not welcome you like that because they got a lot of catching up to do. I stand on it. Okay. That's why we stay out their business and they, and you know, when they come over here in our business, we welcome them or what have you, but they going back on their business. For those of you that's in this house or just in this realm of things, it's important for you to remember. That's why they coming back to show you something, something you forgot, something you thought that was lost is coming back to you. 
Yeah, you forgot a power, a strength. You turned your back on something that you need. This has a lot to do possibly with Chango. I don't know your life. But this has a lot to do with the way that you view things, how you view them, and how you stand fully in who you are. But it has something to do with communication and air. It's really going there. Okay, so I really do feel like y'all got a lot going on. Let's read it down from the bottom. From Okay, so rest and rejuvenation, all right? Take time out to be with yourself. Take time out for self-care, self, you know, um, you know, being in the selves, right? But also um, doing things with love, gentleness, ease, and grace, because there may be a storm that you um, have in a partnership. This is for whoever else, all right? The queen of, the king of uh, cups is here. Maybe a water sign, earth sign. Maybe this is someone who... Uh, gives you the type of balance that you need, right? This may be someone that gives you the type of balance that you need and in, in order to achieve your material goals, okay, okay? Um, there is a healer of ages here, but you need to be mindful of envy and deceit because after you make it out of this storm, I think Gemini had something similar. After you make it out of this storm, you are going to need to be on the lookout for any um, other ways that, you know, bad building friend and try to run their play. 